opening a carton of juice, a bottle of beer, or even a jar. A modern pair of scissors is used for a lot more than just cutting stuff, and to make them strong enough, they're made out of steel. Heated to over 1100 degrees Celsius, the raw steel becomes malleable. The engineer can then shape a new pair of scissors using an industrial hammer. One and a half tons of pressure mash the metal into shape. Next, the two sides of the scissors are cut out by a press that exerts a staggering 100 tons of pressure. To stick the two sides together, some companies use a rivet, but here they cut a hole for a bolt. Then, if the scissors loosen over time, the bolt can easily be tightened. After the hole is threaded, the scissors are sent to be hardened. Without heating or tempering, steel is quite soft. Heating the part to 1085 degrees Celsius before cooling toughens the blade so they won't bend or break by accident. A face is ground into one side of each half. This isn't sharp yet, but it's where the blade will eventually be carved out. Next, the eyes of the scissors are ground. It's important they're smooth because that's where the user's fingers will sit. The rest of the blade is ground down to ensure it's smooth and free of sharp burrs or jagged bits of metal. But this is only the first smoothing stage. This tub is full of abrasive stones and fresh scissor halves. After eight hours, any bumps are worn away by rubbing up against the stones. When they're done, a magnetic conveyor is lowered into the vat. This extracts the metal parts while leaving the stones behind. And now the scissors receive their edge. An edge that in this case comes with an added bonus. As well as being very sharp, the blade is serrated. This means that when the scissors are being used to cut cloth, the metal teeth of the serration grip it so it doesn't slip. And finally, the two sides can be assembled. A drop of oil is added which helps lubricate the new scissors. They're then screwed together through the hole that was threaded earlier. Here, the back of the bolt is flattened so it won't slip out. Next, the tips are hammered into shape and the scissors are tested. And here's where we learn the secret of high-quality scissors. Well-made blades have a slight inward curve, so they always touch at a specific point when they close. This maximizes their cutting potential. A gap between the blades would allow material to pass through uncut. To ensure this point of contact doesn't ever damage the scissors, tests are regularly conducted on samples. They're opened and closed 80,000 times. Even after all that wear, the next cut should be just as good as the first. Finally, the newly assembled scissors are given a good polishing, ready to be sent to the stores. So, that's the story behind the cutting-edge technology ensuring that these scissors look and stay sharp.